Editor's note, this review may contain spoilers. Summary, after the events of Santa Prisca, Batman is now back in Gotham City and ready to transport Catwoman to prison. Catwoman, who was facing a death sentence, has it reduced to life without parole, thanks to her helping Batman in the previous issue. However the night is still young in Gotham and before Catwoman goes to Blackgate prison she wants one more night out, with Batman. Positives This story was done pretty well by King. It's a great way to wind down after the intense few issues that we've had in Santa Prisca. Now back home on their own turf, it seems that these two may have an opportunity to at least have a moment for themselves. The story itself is written very well as the emotional build-up between Batman and Catwoman seems to come to a head, but it always comes back down to one basic fact. They are on two completely opposite sides of the law. Negatives My only negative of the story is very minor. Throughout Batman and Catwoman's supposed date all of the villains they actually fight are pretty minor. However I think King does this to bring light to the lesser known enemies in Batman's own rogues gallery. We have glimpses of Magpie, Kite Man, Condiment King and we're all getting knocked in succession by Batman and Catwoman and it makes for a pretty funny story of what and how Batman deals with his enemies on a nightly basis. I was hoping for maybe a bigger threat towards the end of the book for the duo, but King does make up for it with his conclusion which was a great way to end a night out punching villains for these two. Batman number 8 is essentially a night out for Batman and Catwoman with each showing the other how their lifestyles are so different with their masks. Catwoman gains a new respect for Batman towards the end of the book, as she's amazed at how dedicated he is every time that signal shines on each page. He never hesitates or wavers in his duty and she admires that about him.